And now let's move to the delete functionality. So once we click on this button, we need to display a message to the user telling him if he is sure that he wants to remove the review, then we, if he say yes, then we remove it. So let's add a new function here inside products.view. So it's inside the products.view. So I am inside, so not here. So let's, okay, let's, uh, let's close this one to not be confused. The update review. So here, the add review, we don't need it. This one also. So here, inside products.view, not inside the review list. So we will add the function. This one will be for deleting reviews. So let's add. Let's change it to the let's review and this function will receive the review ID which is the review that we want to remove and we need as we have defined inside the route it's a post request that will have the product ID so let's remove this one which is the review ID the review will be sent to the delete function and we will receive it here using the request so we don't need to provide it here and the request as i said it's a post request and what else so here we it's not update it's delete so here post so this one is delete so let's change it to delete not uh, not review products review but review delete Let's put it here. So now we have the delete and once, uh, but before we check if we have the response, we need, as I said, to send the review ID. So the review ID that we have here, we need to send it here and we will get it in here inside function using the request. Now we have the review ID. Once the review has been deleted, so we need to change the data dot product. So this one, so the data, or we need to change or to update the products with the, the response or the update or the updated products that we will get. So you can get it using the response dot data dot data. So we can, as you can see, we send the products here after we delete the review. So we update the product and we display a message telling the user. So let's add a space here. Does this review has been deleted successfully? And if we have any error, we will display the error. Now we need to call this function. So how we will call this function? The same thing as we have done so the same thing as we have done with it is review let's copy and add another one let's call it remove review and ev the event will be remove uh, review event and here uh, the review events will or the event will have or or will provide the review id that we will get here so let's provide review.id and we need to define this event so let's define it here now we have the event so what is wrong here why it's showing in red so we have as i said the, the events defined here so once the event is triggered so we will get the review and we will provide them or we will send the review dot id let's go back here so here we are getting the review and id and we are we are sending it here so that's what we want and here we send the review dot id and once we click on the button let's uh, let's add on click to this button which is the delete let's add it here and call the remove uh, remove review and we give it the review and here we send the review id and we need to listen to this event so here let's 
go to the top so where is the review list so where is the review list so this one so we need to listen to this event and once we are the event is triggered we need to call the function which is delete delete review and the param is uh, passed automatically to this so you don't need to add parentheses and uh, add the param so it's passed automatically to the function and here we don't need a param so here we don't need it to cancel an updating so let's try now to remove review and check what we will get here so now we have reviews here but i forgot something is to to confirm deletion or the remove so let's do that if confirm and we tell the user are you are you sure you want to remove this review so if yes then we we remove the review so let's try and check if everything is working or not so we don't have an error i think these errors are from previous error from previous uh, or from the updating i think when we updated let's refresh just to remove the previous errors so now we don't have anything so let's try to remove uh, this one which is good so as you can see are you sure you want to remove this preview if i click cancel nothing happen if i click ok nothing happened also and the props is not defined where is the props so inside uh, this one so the products not inside props but it's inside data data.products.id so here we have uh, here we have the products it's inside data so let's try to do that again click ok and as you can see now the product has been removed successfully so let's check so here toast is not defined because i forgot to bring the toast let's get it from uh, so where is we can have it inside add so let's import it and use it so where is the toast so here let's bring this one and uh, put it here and also define the variable so we need to define the variable which is this one and put it here so let's save and let's refresh the page just to remove the previous errors so let's check and see now we don't have any error so let's remove uh, let's remove this one not bad uh, so we have here uh, great two great products so uh, so let's remember that this one with the Alison. So let's remove it. So as you can see, it's, it has been removed, and also the rating has changed. So let's let's uh, let's add uh, let's add a review just to check for the rating. So now we have the review, as you can see, it's here. So we have three for the average. Let's remove this one that we have added now. Let's click OK. And as you can see, now we have two and the rating has changed to five. So now we can update, delete and add reviews. The final thing that we need to display also review inside here, inside our main or in the products list item so here we need to do the same thing so let's bring the so where is it we can bring it from here so let's move to the top where is the star rating this one let's copy and paste it here and we can use it here like we have done 
So let's revisit this one. And we need also to check if the product has reviews, then we will display it. So if not, we will display nothing. So let's copy and paste it here. And we need the, so the rating is the product, uh, but we need also to calculate here the review the review avg or the average so we will use the same thing let's copy this where is the review AVG? so this one let's copy it from here and put it here so we will use the same thing let's paste it here and here we have uh, so we have the props dot product so we will change it to props so the data we will change it to props we, because we guess the product here using the props and here we have uh, what else we have here we are using the data so we don't need to use data here inside the template you can have access to the products without using the props of, as we have here but inside the script you need to use the props so here you can access the products directly so let's save and see what we have here. So as you can see, where is, uh, where is the star rating? Nothing shows what is wrong. So here computers is not defined because I did not import the computer. Let's import it. Uh, save. Check now. I think uh, so here cannot read property so let's refresh the page just to know what is the error or the exact error check here so now it's appearing we don't have any error as you can see so here we have five here we have three and nothing else in the other products so let's add uh, for example let's view this one so here we don't have a rating let's add the uh, a review with rating or test review and also here test review choose to and submit now it's added let's add another one choose for add it as you can see we have two ones let's add another one add five save so it has been added as you can see let's uh, let's update this one so we have test review let's cancel let's choose another one and add here updated and also here updated save as you can see it's updated let's choose this one and update it to one star only now updated let's try to remove uh, the final one which is this one pf sir so let's see now it has been removed we have only two reviews with the average let's move to the home page and uh, here you have the average so now everything is done as expected and everything is working as you want. If you have any bugs or something wrong that I did not notice, you can leave it in the comments. And if you did like this project, so please like and subscribe and see you in my next projects. And you will find the, the source code in the description. So see you in my next project.